Da -na -na -na. There we go. Hello, everybody. I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Look at this guy. It's a thing. Hi there. How are you doing? Oh my God. I never thought I'd do a video with you. Actually, it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So we are on MT Next. If you don't know what MT Next is, I'm sure the guys will explain for you. But I kind of wanted to preface this video saying why I'm filming on this server, and it's mainly because I wanted to highlight something that is actually of some good. Um, I go on rants about this on Twitter every other week that there are so many Minecraft servers being set up by YouTubers and all these other people who are purely in it for the money. I'll probably do like a little Tumblr post about it. I'm not going to name names and you know cause any drama but I just like people to take some more care and consideration into the servers that they play on and in fact more so the servers that they pour money into uh, and all of those do it for their own personal gain and to you know run a business and stuff. This one's a charity server isn't it? Yes, indeed. Basically, yeah. you can donate uh, and uh, the money goes to child and newborn survival programs of Save the Children. And by doing so, uh, you actually save children's lives and you can speed up your progress on the server or get blocks or whatever. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you here like uh, around. Basically, you can type slash start kit as a starter and you will get... Oh, okay. See, this is the thing. The reason that I'm like playing with Athena Reese today is because like I played this a little while back and it, there's so much happening on this server that you come in and there was just like every, one thing that I noticed is the community on this server is amazing. I came in and everyone's like, welcome. And like everyone's like really happy and excited to see me. Um, but that was for everybody, not just me because I'm a YouTuber, but everybody that came in got the same thing. Uh, right. Okay. So I've done start here. I've got all of this all of this stuff. I've got a lot of enchanted weapons. You you get like uh, stone, random stone enchanted weapons and... You yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got a normal axe with smite 4, which I think might actually like strike a tree with thunder if I use it. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> oh my god. And you should also have some potatoes. Uh, oh yes, I, oh thank god, yes I do. Okay. <laughs> I've been to starving since the start of this video. Yes, you, you can starve, but on this server when you starve, you just get teleported home. And this is basically your home. Ah, the yeah, you said this. So this is this is my pad. This yes, is cool. this is your pad, and, and the green borders show what is protected. Ah, I see. So any is it anything on the line, or does it have to be inside the line? Inside the line. Everything right, inside okay. the line is protected and cannot So be these breached. dirt blocks here could be broken by somebody else? Nobody can break that block, except you. Oh, right, okay. Because it's inside Sweet. the green borders, oh and everything so, outside can be destroyed. Have I inherited this thing? Because when I came yes. on before, I was just kind of out in the wilderness, and I was um, I that's how I got my normal stone tools before. This and is... then suddenly I logged in today and I was like 20 foot in the sky on this thing. This is actually from another player that uh, went inactive. And I feel ah. like almost like he knew you would inherit it. And he made yeah. like the worst building ever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, made it. But you can see you have some chests there, right? So uh, there's a lot of cool stuff around here. Yeah. So maybe you actually. Oh, wait. Do I inherit his items as well? Yes, you inherit everything. Oh my god. Okay, there's some stone stuff in there. What else have we got? We've got nothing in that one. Oh wow, there's an unbreaking sword of three. That's gonna come in handy. Uh, let's have a look at this as well. But right, okay, cool. Chris, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna vote your house here because there's a rating system, but yeah, you don't see that because oh. you're on your plot. Uh, what what do you think I should rate this? Uh, what what's this scale? Is it from zero it, to is from it numbered dirt, or is it worth iron, it? gold, diamond, emerald, and uh, athenium? Mm, I would probably, I honestly, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is probably a dirt, a dirt rating. <laughs> yeah, you you said it. I give it like <laughs> dirt rating. It gives me room for improvement. I've got I've got something to strive towards. So yeah, like I, I also got yourself like uh, uh, I crafted something for you. Uh, oh. And 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 as you can see here, I I got it in my hands. I knew oh my God. you need it. And uh, yeah, basically, this is made from a very powerful, uh, very powerful, very powerful material. Very powerful <laughs> material. <laughs> right, okay. So yeah, here it is. Oh my god, there I'm not sure go. I'm strong enough to wield this. Strong. It's incredibly strong. Wow. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> the ITLW Lazuli Sword of Looting Three. Oh my god. Is, you might say like <laughs> this, this, this is just this is just a wooden sword. No, no, no. no. This is a, lapu, a, a, a lapis lazuli sword, and it has loot three. That means that if you kill mob monsters, you have a thirty percent chance, more chance to get razor gear from monsters. Oh my god, okay, yeah, because I saw about it. I was going to ask about this. So, when you down mobs on this server, you actually sometimes get a code which you can redeem on the razor store and you can get, like, mice, keyboards, headsets, all sorts, can't you? Yes, indeed. 
That is nuts. I've, I've honestly never heard of anybody doing that. You guys have always had the Razor hookup. It's been awesome. So yeah, yeah, we got quite a lot of Razor swag. We have already hooked up quite a lot of people as well. So uh, it's it's oh pretty nice. And uh, since, yeah, like since uh, I, lo I love your community as well, uh, when people will log on, they will get that sword as well. Everyone. Oh, amazing. So yeah, it's it's a special in the little wood. Uh, <laughs> is that for a limited time or? It's only for in the little wood limited time. Yes, this is nice limited edition uh, weapons for your oh, community. Man. This is going to be like rare in the future. People yes, are going to have it's... these and they're not going to break them and they're going to sell for <laughs> so much in-game currency. I also want to show you something. Um, like since we're traveling here a little bit, we built something mm. for you in the little. Oh. Because okay. we knew that maybe when you come here, you might go like, hmm, what is this? So basically, you can go to my house. You can visit my house by okay. typing slash home and mine. Yeah. So if uh, okay, Minecraft. Uh, I almost put mince raft. <laughs> uh, theme. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. Do you want to trade plots? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there you, th that is something that uh, I was thinking. Like, you know what? Who knows? Like, this this is this is the lapis Ooh. lazuli castle, as oh you can God, see. Look at this place. <laughs> and uh, this is pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. It, it looks uh, it looks amazing. It's really it's really well crafted. It looks really well made for. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. Look at the embossing on those towers. Oh my God! Oh it's my like Fire UK built it. It looks pretty amazing. <laughs> now you know you typed slash home to get here, you know, slash home Minecraft theme, but you could actually have walked here because this is the biggest massively multiplayer online Minecraft server you've ever yeah. seen. Everyone... So, I, so this is essentially like an MMO, isn't it? But not an MMO RPG. I think that's the key part that's sort of left out. It's more so an MMO as in like just the sheer scale of it. It's absolutely massive. Yes, exactly. And we try to keep the vanilla experience as intact as possible, so we don't try mm -hmm. to add too much fancy stuff. And as you can see there, you have a rating. You can. Yeah. What's what's the is the Athenium rating the top one? Yeah, that's the top one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I feel I feel like now that you've spotted it in my hand, if I'm not to use it, then you might be yeah, you might like, be a little well, bit good. So it's a there we go. Uh, Look at that and this fireworks stuff. I'm assuming the fireworks would have gone higher if I hadn't. Done, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't been underneath that. Oh yeah, my like, god. Um, what I'm actually going to do here is do this is down? a special place. It's very close to Stormwind, which is the capital. Oh, wow. And As in, like, Stormwind, Stormwind. Yes, indeed. Like, you will see it, like, uh, soon. You can jump down. You won't have fall damage. All right. Okay, I, was worried about that. I was like, <laughs> Thor over there is going to be okay dropping that far. But so come follow me. I'm immediately here. human. I'm, I'm where gonna, have you gone? I'm gonna look at something here. You're, where, where is, where is our in the little wood? Where have you where just been to? In? Oh, I see, I see. Ah, there, oh, there you are. I found there you. you are. Got you. Come on, check it out. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, but oh I'm, God, I'm going here to the closest plot here. Oh, all right. Um, and you can see here like those, those, those white particles, right? Oh my God! Yeah, all the words. And when you go inside, it says. Uh, it says, "Oh, type slash claim to move your home location to this chunk." Wow! So will that bring everything that's already been pre-built to this spot? No. Basically, what I'm gonna do. Don't here... worry, you won't bring that horrible structural. <laughs> that old I, tower. I just moved here. Right. Okay. That's so is that true. tower now open for me? <laughs> I'm gonna Dead overthrow go. it. But I'm going to have to opt you because <laughs> this is close to Stormwind and this is only for VIPs. Ah, okay. So I'm going to up you and then you can actually... Uh, oh my god, I can claim it. Claim this place. So <gasps> Let me see. Is there, a, is there a little throne on the inside? Oh, hold on a second. Whoa, 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 wait. Watch oh, out. Dear. You, 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 have to, <laughs> you have to watch out. You have yeah. to watch out. Okay. Uh, oh my god, when I'm, when I'm told not to do something, I only want to do it more. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh um, as you can see here, uh, this plot here should become available very soon. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, I can see the word in just above this part of it. Yeah. Right, okay, so let me give this a try. Slash claim. Uh, to confirm this thing, type the following code, okay. And then I press enter. Oh. oh my god, yes. So let's have a look at that. So the home expires after seven days of inactivity. Oh, okay. So the other person who I had before, their plot was inactive for a week, I'm assuming, and then I gained it from them. Well, it depends, actually, because every time you level up, which is very fast, uh -huh. you get one extra day. 
that you can be ah. inactive. So if you're level 10, you can be inactive for more than two weeks. And you oh, should wow. get level 10 extremely fast on the server. So do you have to wait for it to get close to expiring to reset? Or if I just come here, what's like the command to refresh it back to its full amount? Um, basically, just relog. That's it. Just log in. Every time you log in, it gets reset. Oh, cool. So, right. So you don't have to like type anything. It's just yeah. Um... You don't have to do anything special. Ah, so so what, what are these wall buttons? Can I press these? Uh, you. Where Where are you? Where are you? Where are I'm you? I'm right here. I'm I'm with Thor. <laughs> I love that skin, by the way. It's awesome. <laughs> so good. I'm not even it's sure. a shame you don't have a cool red cape like me. It would have completed I don't that know outfit. What those those buttons do. Uh, honestly, I don't know what they. Okay, like. let's give this a go. What is this? Oh my god, is it gonna raise the barricades? Yeah. Or is it gonna send archers flying over the wall? I don't know what those those No, I think they're dead. I think those buttons don't do anything. But on no. the other side we can actually move here. <laughs> um Should we give this a go? To go down. A what? Okay. Which on one? On the other side. Whatever you do, don't pull that don't pull that, that lever. Right, okay. I've pressed that button in the middle. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I've done that. And basically, you uh, you you get teleported to. Uh... I wonder if the claiming might have disabled anything. Yeah, maybe. Ah, yes. I think that is what happened. Uh, you you probably disabled the command blocks. That's true. Oh, okay. Because I wasn't the op that place then. Yeah, like uh, maybe uh... you have to type slash uh, cb oh, yeah, to slash activate that. it. There we go. Slash command blocks are now enabled in your home. Ah. Ah. There we go. So let's see if that works. There we go. It said something. A command block, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it said it failed to execute. Oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. No. This is unbelievable. Like, oh, my God. Uh, so that's the thing, actually. I should really point out to people. Uh, one of the things I noticed about the server is you allow people to actually place their own command blocks yes, in their indeed. own thing. So if they want to, and I saw this on the trailer as well, they can actually like create their own entire mini games within their own plots or in, within certain areas as well. Indeed, indeed. Which is you can... like so much, like so much trust to give to a community. Like most of our Minecraft servers wouldn't even like dare give somebody creative mode for five minutes, let alone command blocks. The thing is though that uh, a few features have been disabled from the command blocks. Oh, okay. Such as, for example, stopping the server because normally you can do that. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah, do slash stop usually. Server. So yeah, uh, we have disabled that, and uh, yeah, like we're gonna certainly come back here. I'm sure someone is gonna fix those command blocks because the thing is that it's been is are they enabled on the plot right now? I I messaged. Uh, they are enabled. I they said they were enabled on my side of the screen. Okay, that's good. If they're enabled, then basically because the thing is that uh, I think they removed the uh, content of the. Oh, blocks. hello. Oh God, uh, he, he pulled the lever and he died. <laughs> what happened? No. Oh, he was so young. Oh, he's back. This oh God, is one of our little to? underground helpers. Yes. He's investigating oh your command block. You've got a little mole man helping us. What the hell? Exactly. So, oh yeah, God. basically, um, a few other things I want to say. Like, what we can do is while, while he's working on that, okay. we can go and uh, visit the town. When you type slash town, it's basically the main town of the city. Oh, wow. So, this is, this is Stormwind. Yes, this is Stormwind. Oh my uh, god. I don't know if you played World of Warcraft. If I you... played a bit, yeah. So I'm assuming this is the big castle. So would that mean that the the path to Ironforge is over this way? Uh, to the left when you come out of that castle. <laughs> well, we didn't recreate all of Azeroth. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like... <laughs> yeah, you can actually go to the to the train thing or what is it? Uh, that's it, it yeah, that's it. Because I, I, don't, I don't know like where Iron Forge actually is, but I just know that the train to it is over this way. That's what I was saying. Yes, indeed.